Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at the Voltron 84 Classic Legendary Red Lion. And we're going to compare him with the Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Red Lion. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Now let's go ahead and move him to the side a minute. We will move him to the side. Let's take a look at the packaging. You've got the original Voltron, Beast King Go, Go Lion right there. Voltron 84 logo, classic red lion, fire missiles, form 16 inch, combine all five lions, legendary series. And the red lion does form the right arm of Voltron. Lance is the hot headed ace flyer of the Voltron lion force. He pilots the red lion and is the second in command of Voltron. Uh, you got the uh, synopsis here from days of long ago from Uncharted Lit. Regions of the universe comes a legend, the legend of Voltron, defender of the universe, a mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. And there you have the 16 inch classic Voltron there, and he comes with Voltron's blazing sword. It says here, he's got the laser cannon, the missile launcher, and 15 plus points of articulation, as well as a jaw blade. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way, and we'll bring in... <clears throat> First and foremost, let's go ahead and reattach this. All right, so, as I said, both Red Lions came with a sword. Well, Legendary Red Lion came with part of a sword. The Classic Red Lion came with the actual sword. Now, here is the true Blazing Sword from Voltron. This has been the Blazing Sword in every incarnation of Voltron since Beast King Go Lion. It was the Blazing Sword in Legend, uh, Defender of the Universe, uh, Voltron the Third Dimension, and Voltron Force, as well as all the video games, artwork, everything. This piece of crap is the Blazing Sword from Legendary Defender. I have a huge problem with this current Blazing Sword. They really need to go back to this sword this was the blazing sword this is more like a katana or something which in uh, Voltron force Voltron did use a katana um, I can't remember I think it was I think when Green Lion took center he had a katana as well so anyway notice there's not much to this sword you got the hilt uh, you got the knuckle guard yeah, that kind of resembles the original. And then you got this energy blade. Uh, I don't like it. This, on the other hand. This is the blazing sword. A nice handle here. Nice detail. Got the hilt here. This blade, it's got serrated edges. Comes up more serrated ed edges so it does a lot of damage to row beasts and the legendary red line came with i believe it came with this part of the blazing sword uh, this part came with green line so we'll put that off to the side i'll be reviewing green line next time so let's first off the legendary red line is slightly bigger than the classic red line only because of the rounded shape of the body uh, because the classic red line is squared it it looks a little smaller um, also the legendary red line is a little bit longer than classic red line uh, just a little bit not a lot on camera it looks like it's by a lot, but actually that's just because of the distance. They're actually maybe a little bit 
less than a, a little bit more than a millimeter uh, apart in length. Uh, both of them have the same ratchet at the waist for the arm. Both of them have leg ratchets. One, two, three joints in the hind legs, whereas <clears throat> One, two, three, four joints in the hind legs on the legendary Defender Red Line. Um, <clears throat> the legendary Defender Red Line's tail seems to be a little bit more, a little bit more rubbery, whereas classic Voltron's tail. It's still kind of rubbery, but it's really thick, so it doesn't get that um, quite the articulation as the legendary Defender Red Line. Anyway, the lead, uh, the classic Red Line came with the blade, the laser uh, pistol, and the uh, triple rocket cannon. Let's take a look at the detail on these things, and they do—they can snap in anywhere into any of the joints. But there's the laser cannon. There's his blade, and there's his rocket, which. Might want to keep it away from the kids until they get a little bit older. It does hit with some force. Could, could possibly hurt them. So anyway, the front legs. Got the hard ratchet there. Hard ratchet there. And a ratchet there. Uh, got the head tilt on a ratchet, which is nice. Uh, no head movement at all and then you got spring-loaded jaw action and when putting the blade or the blazing sword in red lion's mouth as you can see there's a tab right there and that's gonna go in to that tab right there Push it in. There you go. Uh, transformation. Very easy. The classic lions were very easy to transform. Uh, bring the legs up like that. Like that. Tuck the tail in. And there you go, he's transformed into the right arm of Voltron. And for Blazing Sword, same deal. Put that tab right in there. Just like that. And he, he holds it really well. Now, in case any of you are wondering, yes, this blazing sword will fit into the mouth of the legendary red lion. Uh, it just won't attach to anything in there, so I wouldn't really shake it too much. I mean, it's holding it pretty good, but it's going to move around quite a bit. So there you go, guys. We have the classic Voltron 84 legendary red lion and the Voltron legendary defender. Legendary Red Line. I'm Shannon for Comagen TV. Have a good one, guys.